Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast by your earth science teacher, Mr. Seto. And today we're going to go into the world of sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks, most of them at least, have a few things in common. One of which is that they're going to be composed of sediments. It's these sediments that are going to be making up our sedimentary rock. And we can see here when we weather and erode material or break it break down material, we can break things down into sediments, or these sediments can accumulate to form rock like this with these imprints or fossils, another signature of sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks, uh, for the most part, form from particles that have been compressed underwater for long periods of time. These are known as clastic sedimentary rocks. So we would have like clay settling to in layers along the ocean floor. So the clay accumulates and forms a nice layer. Then maybe some more material accumulates on top. Maybe silt forms another layer. And possibly, well, let's do blue, another layer accumulates on that. So we get these nice flat layers, each layer is going to be a different sediment or or it doesn't have to be it could be a similar sediment that piles up now when we keep piling up more and more on top of other there's pressure and that pressure is going to be forcing down on these layers and helping them become sedimentary rocks some examples of our classic sedimentary rocks if we take gravel and pebbles we can get conglomerates sands sandstone it's a tough one mud and clay will form shale and organic sediments and other materials will form limestone. There's a number of different clastic sedimentary rocks. Remember what I said is that basically these sediments are going to accumulate and as more sediments pile up, they're going to push down. And when they push down on top of the sediments, water is forced out from in between the pores, helping when this water is forced out, that will help cement all these sediments together and press them all together forming our sedimentary rock. Without the pressure, we can still hold water in there and they're not gonna form. Sedimentary rocks, uh, another group of sedimentary rocks that once formed from living organisms are called bioclastic. So once again, it's sediments, but now once living, so we have bioclastic sedimentary rocks. An example of a bioclastic sedimentary rock would be coal. And there's a couple of different types of coal that we'll see, but for the most part, this sedimentary rock is uh, all plant remains that are formed uh, basically same thing, accumulated, undergone some pressure to form coal. Another type or a third type of sedimentary rock are known as crystalline sedimentary rocks. These form from the evaporation of water. When the water evaporates, it leaves behind these minerals, which eventually come together or form together. And these crystals will grow. One example that uh, most people know of is rock salt. So rocks, when the water evaporates, it leaves these ions behind. They form these salts. When the salts start to, the crystals start to grow from these salts. And that's it, rock salt. So if we look at page seven in our earth science reference table, we see a number of different things under the texture column. We see our clastic sedimentary rocks made up of fragments, our crystalline sedimentary rocks, and our bioclastic. And notice we have this one little area of crystalline or bioclastic. And that's it, and we take a look. So the whole top part, of our page seven chart on sedimentary rocks is gonna be classic sedimentary rocks. And we can see here that we have, these are examples that we use in our reference table for clastics, shale, siltstone, sandstone, breccia, and conglomerate. If we take a look at our crystalline, it's all these right here. Rock salt, rock gypsum, dolostone. And finally for our bioclastic, we have our bituminous coal. Here are some sedimentary rock formations just to kind of solidify that point that sedimentary rocks form in horizontal layers. So if we look at the Grand Canyon, once again, almost these nice, perfect, 
parallel sedimentary layers. Remember, sedimentary rocks form or deposit in horizontal layers, which is key for later on in the year when we talk about when those layers are not horizontal. Here's Grand Canyon. Once again, we can see the nice layering in this. You can see parallel lines. This line follows this one, which is this one. That's all sediments that have been deposited while being underwater. So guess what? Grand Canyon at one point or this landscape has been underwater. Okay, this is Red Rock Amphitheater out in Colorado. We can see once again, the nice parallel lines. Okay, or Red Rock in Denver, Colorado. This is a little bit different. Once again, parallel lines, and they were horizontal at one point until something happened. And we'll learn in a couple of weeks what that something was. And before we move on to sedimentary rocks a little bit more, we'll end here with this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this little primer introduction to sedimentary rocks. Uh, that's it. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.